Hey guys, for today's water jug test, we're going to be trying out Ballistic Products LBC Sabo Slug. This is the LBC Sabo from Ballistic Products. The actual projectile inside is about 355 grains. And you have to hand load these yourself, they don't come already loaded. So I reloaded one into this once fired Winchester 3 inch rifled slug hole on 48 grains of long shot. So this should be coming in right around 1,800 feet per second. And a 355 grain slug at 1,800 feet per second will give us approximately 2,555 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. So we should get quite a big splash today. And I've got eight jugs lined up here. I have a feeling that slug will stop in jug number four or five. But let's get started with our test and see what happens. And we're shooting from about 10 yards away. Wow, just wow. So I was definitely a little wrong with my assumption of jug four or five. If we take a look here, there's a piece of a jug all the way over here, probably part of number one. And you can just see the water sprayed all the way out here, probably about 10 to 15 yards to the side. And it looks like the rest of jug number one is right here. Actually, no, that's jug number two. And right here we have jug three. Oh, okay. So the rest of jug number one is actually all the way over there. About 15 yards or so to the other side. Wow, that's impressive. There's jug one. And look, there's our Sabo or part of it. Here's part of that Sabo wad I found. And here's jug number one. Um, looks like we might have had an entry hole right around here. Kind of hard to tell with the amount of devastation on this jug. And you can tell it's just completely obliterated. But there is a visible exit hole right there. And it kind of looks like we had some fragment exits too. So, complete annihilation of jug number one. And here's another part of jug number one that was about 15 yards to the left, while jug number one itself was about 15 yards to the right. And jug number two, again, complete devastation of the jug, and here's our entry hole. And the jug's just completely split open. And it looks like our exit hole is right here. And here's jug number three, entry hole. Handle split, jugs cracked open, obviously not as bad as the first two. And there's our exit hole. And jug number four, and there's our entrance. Once again, split open, similar to jug three. Quite a bit of damage still to jug four, and there's our exit. 
So that's actually a lot of energy still deposited all the way into jug four. And also jug four is the first jug without the cap blown off. And what's weird is jug number five is still sitting on the board, but jug six is down there on the ground. And here's jug five, entrance hole, another split on our handle, and it's just a little split open here. And there's our exit. So not nearly as much damage to jug five. Most of our energy is being expended at this point. And jug number six, which was somehow on the ground while number five wasn't. Entrance hole. And it's just a little split right here. And it looks like that's it. The top's probably bent from falling. And there's our exit. So barely any damage to jug six. Just a little split here on the side. And then we have jug number seven up here on the board. And I can already see the Sabo floating in there, wow. So even the Sabo penetrated that far. But there's our entrance on seven. Pretty much no damage besides the entrance and an exit out the back. And there's the Sabo that was stuck in jug number seven. A piece from the top here that's missing I recovered about 10 yards to the right. Wow, so this thing went almost all the way through with that slug. And then we have jug number eight with an entrance hole right here. And it looks like we have an exit hole or almost an exit because that slug is caught inside jug eight. That's good, I was a little worried the slug had passed through all eight jugs. But we did manage to recover the slug from inside jug number eight. Although it looks like it just about made it through because there is a hole right here, like it pushed on it, but couldn't make it all the way through. And there's the LBC Sable Slug projectile that was recovered from Jug 8. Wow, so it barely even had any expansion. No wonder it penetrated so deep. So here's what the LBC Slug looks like now, after being recovered from inside the 8th water jug. It did take some minor damage, much less than expected though. I figured it was just going to break apart into a bunch of pieces. And here's what it originally looked like before being fired. Here's the unfired slug and here's the one we recovered. So it definitely squished and deformed a little bit. But not nearly as bad as expected. It seems to have actually expanded also. Down here at the base. These grooves or ridges on it. I believe that's what that is now. So pretty much that's all that happened to it. It looks like it just squished a little bit. The slug originally appears to have been about 61 caliber or 0.618 inches in diameter. And over on this side we're getting 0.627 inches. So pretty much 62 caliber, I'd say. And a length of 0.889 inches. And after the water jug test, we're getting a diameter of 0.73 inches. And on the other side, 0.745. And you can see on our fired slug, this little notch on the bottom is sticking out further than the base of the slug now. And on the unfired one, it's pretty far in there. So we'll measure the length in two different ways. First to that notch, which is 0.73 inches long. And then just to the base of the slug, or skirt, whatever you want to call it. And there we're getting 0.669 inches. And our weight retention, the unfired slug, weighs 355.6 grains and the water jug slug 343.3 so it lost roughly 12 grains and the Sabo unfired weighs 80.7 grains and the fired one without the recovered pedal 60.6 grains the pedal I found was off to the side while this whole base of the Sabo was stuck in one of the jugs so all together fired slug and Sabo wad 403.9 grains and unfired slug and unfired sabo 436.1 grains so overall we had pretty good weight retention and just a little bit of expansion but just amazing penetration i am still just utterly impressed with the slug's performance and i can't wait to do more tests with it that's the most penetration i've ever seen in any of my water jug tests besides the 69 caliber round ball. And we also had considerable damage on those first four jugs. But anyways, that's all. If you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure to check out my Facebook page if you can. I post short little shooting clips 
that you guys might enjoy so make sure to check that out if you can and if there's any other kind of tests you guys want to see just make sure to let me know but that's all for now and as always thanks for watching